Alrighty, so geometry, the plan for today. We've seen a lot of today's stuff kind of in passing, but now we're just officially adding it into our sort of curriculum, our notes, all about triangles, how to talk about them, name them, describe them, etc. So we're going to do some practice, see what we know, see what we don't know. Then we'll just jot down some notes together. And I think we'll probably end today with a Kahoot, just kind of see how we're doing on time. Nice practice today. Okay, so first thing, I'm just going to draw some triangles. Ooh, we're going to try and come up with terms, so I call these scalene, isosceles, or equilateral. So if I draw this triangle, say 6 and 6 and 6, this is what we call equilateral, equal sides. What if I draw a triangle that's like 3 and 5 and 7? This is what we call scalene, all the sides different. How about I draw a triangle where I've got 10 and... 13 and 13, that's isosceles. So these are our different names for how many sides are congruent. What if I go like this? That's equilateral. How about tall and skinny with two equal sides? That's isosceles. And maybe something like this. That's going to be scalene, three different length sides. Okay, other terms we have heard, we do want to get them down, make sure we're very confident with this. An acute triangle, all three angles are small, less than 90. Right triangle has a 90 degree angle, and an obtuse triangle has one very big angle, one angle bigger than 90. Okay, so visually, here's an acute triangle, all the angles are less than 90. Here's a right triangle because it has a right angle, which is 90 degrees. And this one on the right is called obtuse because it has an obtuse angle. Okay, so let's practice. We're going to use two words for each of these. So one word from the sides. So that was scalene isosceles or equilateral, and then one word from our new angles list, which were acute and right and obtuse. So basically every single triangle that exists you can describe with two different words. One describes the sides, one describes the angles. So for this one, let's see, the sides, three and four and five are all different lengths, so we call it scalene based off the sides. Now looking at the angles, 37, 53, 90, the angles tell me it's a right triangle. So this triangle is both scalene and it's right. Okay, how about this one? Hmm, so I need two words based on the sides. The sides are eight and eight and eight, all the same. We call that equilateral. And the angles look to be 60, and on an equilateral they're actually all the same. So all three are less than 90 it would be acute. So equilateral and acute. How about this triangle? Hmm. So I have two equal sides, seven and seven. Our term for that's so looking at the sides. We call this isosceles. Looking at the angles, because it has one big angle here, we call it obtuse. So we want to become very comfortable with both of these sets of words. So based on sides, our options are scalene, isosceles, equilateral. Looking at the angles, our three options are acute, right, and obtuse. All right, good refresher here. Something we've seen several times, but always nice to brush up on. If I want to find a missing angle in a triangle, what do all angles add up to? They add up to 180. So I'll just take my 180, subtract the ones I know, and I should get what's left over. So 180 minus 62 minus 39 is a 79 degree angle. Excellent. So we're just going to practice some more. I'll draw these different triangles. So I could say something like this, 6 and 6. And what would I call this? I would call it, well, it's isosceles because it has two equal sides and it's right. 
could I do something like uh, this? Five and five and four. This one's actually also isosceles. But this one's also acute because all the angles are less than 90s. Okay, what if I do something like here's a four, here's a six, here's a seven. This one is scalene. All the sides are different. And acute. Angles less than 90. What if I do, hmm, how about something like this? If I could draw a triangle, I'll go 5, and I'll go 12, and 15. This one would be scalene, sides are different, and obtuse. So you can see I've got a lot of different combinations of triangles I can make, and this is not all of them. I have equilaterals, I can do scalene, acute, scalene obtuse. Uh, I could do scalene right also works. So I've got lots of options. I just want to be able to name using both types of words, looking at sides, looking at angles. Sweet. So we're going to hop on Desmos and work on this new little activity. It's kind of puzzles. This one I actually like quite a bit. So it's looking at angles, some with triangles, some with parallel lines, seeing what we can figure out. And that's the plan for today, geometry. All right, thank you. Have a nice day.